Hello and welcome to a new series I'm starting called Actual Hero Spotlight featuring Soldier 76 aka Jack Morrison. The lore behind Jack Morrison is kind of a long one so I'm going to try to make it short for you guys. At 18, Morrison packed his bags and joined the military. He planned to serve briefly in the armed forces, then return home to his family farm. But his work ethic and courage caught the eye of the military's higher ups, so before long he earned the coveted position in the government's controversial soldier enhancement program. Military sciences helped Morrison and other recruits uh, turn into per perfect soldiers with enhanced strength and agility. At that same time uh, all that was happening, uh, the UN was actually busy creating Overwatch. Morrison decided to join Overwatch with his friend Gabriel Reyes that, became, that he became friends with during the Soldier Enhancement Program. After Morrison and Reyes helped Overwatch defeat the Omnic Crisis, or the Omnic Forces, um, both kind of the same thing actually. Anyways, Morrison was rewarded for his contributions by becoming the first official commander of Overwatch. One year after the disbandment of Overwatch, Morrison and Reyes were actually fighting in an Overwatch Swiss HQ. At some point during their fight, they accidentally uh, triggered a massive explosion that destroyed the facility and killed both of them inside of it. Five years after Overwatch was ended, a series of attacks started on financial institutions and a former Overwatch facilities, all carried out by a man who went by Soldier 76. In each case, he stole Overwatch tech, including a pulse rifle. When he was attempted to be stopped by the Helix Security International, he was described as faster and stronger than any normal person. After that, he was targeted for an international manhunt. Jack's main weapon is going to be his heavy pulse rifle. Basically, all you have to do is shoot in a general direction, and you can usually get a kill or an assist, which is total bullshit. When using this weapon, all you want to do is aim for the head, and you can definitely deal a lot of damage. The pulse rifle can deal 170 damage per second, besides if you get that headshot. The soldier is total bullshit because his reload speed is 1.5 seconds, and he can shoot 10 rounds a second, and his magazine holds 25 rounds. So, in 2.5 seconds, he can unload that entire magazine into somebody and then reload in 1.5 seconds. So in 4 seconds, he can shoot an entire magazine off, reload, and continue to fire at somebody, dealing a ton of damage, especially if you're getting those headshots. Jack's secondary ability is going to be a sprint. So what he's going to do is going to run like a black Nigerian child in one specific direction. He can fire his weapon at the same time like they can though, and what he can do though is throw down his uh, medical shield so he can heal himself or other teammates. Uh, main use for this is running out of spawn when you die and basically getting back into the fight as fast as possible or avoiding any gunfire or to even heal any of his teammates at the same time. So main use like in this recording, I almost fucked up and I just ran away, it's also pretty good use. Uh, getting away from any ultimates. Uh, it's kind of shitty though when you get trapped in a corner and you try to run away and then they uh, basically anally pound you with a fucking baseball bat. So that's that's no fun at all. I also believe that the soldier's main theme song is going to be making his way downtown. Make him way downtown, walking fast, faces pass and I'm homebound. I don't think you guys realized how many times I had to listen to that song to put that in here. Soldier 76's Bibliotheque field his is E. So what he can do with it is he can place it down on the ground while running or sprinting and he can heal himself or other teammates. So it's very useful if you're being healed by a, uh, by a Mercy or a Lucio and you can throw it down to heal them or yourself uh, even quicker if they're healing you. Uh, it's also nice whenever Mercy is damage boosting you and isn't healing you, you can throw it down and also survive a little bit longer. If you get grabbed by a Roadhog like I do here and get butt fucked by him, you have no choice but to basically accept it and, uh, you know, hope to God that you can get away. Soldier 76's Helix rocket is pretty unique. Uh, it kind of shoots out a series of three rockets similar to Pharaoh's and can deal a massive amount of damage up to, I think, 140 damage uh, for the three targets. You can't critical strike it, so if you hit someone in the head, it doesn't matter. Um, but you can shoot it at the ground and hit somebody and deal a little bit of damage in that way as well. Best use for this is if you see a little bit of group of enemies, um, shoot it kind of towards them. Hopefully you can hit one of them. Or in kind of close quarters, it's not advised only because if you shoot an enemy and you're next to those rockets and you hit yourself and kill yourself, it's not, <laughs> it makes you feel kind of like an idiot. So make sure whenever you do it, you're not in an extremely enclosed quarter. Um, like I said, it's all about a two meter blast radius. So if you're far enough away that you feel safe, feel free. But um, don't fuck up like I do all the time when I run up to a bastion and shoot at his thing and have 40 HP and kill myself. It happens more than 
more than I would like it to. Um, also, when you ult as well, you can right click and it shoots a set of three rockets towards the enemy as well. It doesn't lock onto them uh, initially, so hopefully they can get there in time without the enemy moving out of the way. Soldier 76's last but not least is his ultimate, so that's his tactical visor. What this does is it auto targets uh, other players and enemies. Uh, you can also right click and use that as well and also decreases your reload time from 0.5 seconds or 0.15 seconds to 0.75 seconds, so it, it decreases it by half. Main use for this, uh, what you're going to want to do is target any squishies or any healers as well. It's kind of hard to you know, select which one's which, select which one is which, especially if there's a lot of people in uh, a condensed area, um, uh, causes a big, huge headache, and it's it's not easy to do. So, um, trying to target a, a healer um, and then any other squishy champion is definitely recommended, so you can get those people out of the map in competitive or even in a quick play as well. So this is one of the main ways you're going to want to ult, where you have a lot of squishy champions and they all line up for you, and you can just basically shoot and not give a damn. Um, there is a way that you don't want to ult though, and that's exactly like this. Oh my god, I was so fucking disappointed in myself when I did that. Or even like this. You know that moment when you ult and you're like, oh fuck, wait, well, what's going on? And then you die, and it just makes you want to fucking break your goddamn computer monitor. This is how you ult. This is how you do it. Yes. Alright, moving on. So, Soldier 76 comes with a pretty uh, good selection of skins, including the Fuck Yeah America Classic skin. We got the nice old Dirt Russet skin. Um, we got the Strike Manor Morrison, which is the pretty nice Classic Origin skin. We got the Top Gun skin, which is uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's a cheap one, though. We got the Cocktail skin, because of olives and stuff. I don't know why they named that skin all of anyways. Uh, we got the Vape Hard Bro skin. Um, <laughs> uh, vape Hard Bro. Uh, we got the Ghost. Uh, the Ghost's skin. The Ghost Recon. Because uh, he has the skull on his face, I guess. Um, we got the Baller skin. Shot collar. 20 inch plates. Uh, that was dumb joke. <laughs> we got the Gay Vampire Slayer skin. Which is the probably, I don't know, I don't like that skin at all. Um, we got the Rambo skin. Which is pretty plain. I don't like these two ultimates. Uh, we got the SEAL Team 76 skin. And then we got the Evil Knievel skin. And then we have the Evil Knievel's Evil Brother skin. Which is very nice. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I've rambled on long enough. But uh, hopefully if you all enjoyed, please let me know in the comment section below and leave that like. Uh, it would really mean a lot. Share the video um, and subscribe. It'd it helps me out in the growth of my channel, lets me know I'm doing a good job, and if you guys, you know, have any questions or have any, like, constructive criticism, I'd mean, it'd mean a lot, just because I know I need to, you know, make a little bit better editing and stuff like that, it's just a matter of learning it all again, um, but yeah, please leave a comment in the comment section below if you have any tips or pointers that I can do, and hopefully I will see you guys in my next video, have a good day, bye-bye.